What up, family? This is the Decisive Element Podcast with Ronnie Portillo. Now let's get it. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk yeah. to the editor, future Mike. Yeah, we'll talk to him and be like, hey, bro, like, can we let his face show one time? Not today. Not today, <laughs> Basil. Not today. Yeah, I really appreciate you letting me be hey, on camera, dude. Hey, you're welcome, man. I appreciate all you do off camera, man. That's it. If people don't know, this is on YouTube also. So if you want to see my face, <laughs> go on YouTube. You can listen to audio. Yeah. This is gonna be. This is this is different. This feels so different. It feels chill. Yeah. Yeah. So this is. We're just episode ten. Yep. And we're gonna talk about what we learned, man. What have we learned so far? The journey on ten episodes and fucking. It's been crazy. It has been. It's. I love having all the guests. Cause you know, I started the uh, other podcast with with some of my roommates, and it, it's so cool, like me meeting different people. Yeah, but that's why I think it's so chill right now, cause it's like we're so. I feel like normally when we have a guest in here, yeah, we're so on edge to like make sure everything's that's good. Like yeah, yeah, I got water, I got this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I could totally yeah. see. I could totally see how <laughs> yeah. this. Is, sorry, I'm done. No, you like, good. Go, bro. Over. But like, I could totally see how this could be overwhelming for some people, though. Now that I'm like, you know, on the side. Yeah. 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 And it's funny because the thing I literally just wrote. So one thing we learned about the podcast was like half people come before we start recording and just chill for a little bit. Yeah. And just hang out. To so like, we noticed a couple. We're, we won't say who, but. Yeah. When that c- couple people, it's like you got to we gotta warm them up a little mm-hmm. bit, get them used to in the little place. Um, but yeah, because it, cause it, like I said, they got overwhelmed. Yeah. A little bit. And we were like, yeah, all right, let's go. We jumped right into <laughs> yeah. it. It's too much. Ready to go. I was like, oh, too much. oh, I've never done this before. I don't <laughs> fucking know. It's like, yeah, I guess we should do yeah. some shit. I started bringing some, we got some fruit up in here. Yeah. We just munching on that. I like that. You, I like the gummy bears you bring. I ate them all. I think I told you that, but yeah. Yeah, I, they just you left them. I left them here. Like we'll save these next time. Listen, I live here. I'm gonna <laughs> eat them. <laughs> Listen, I live here. They're gone. I'm like editing the other I, podcast, I, I'm like, dude, these are going down. These are good. These are good while editing. Yeah. yeah. Snack on. Yeah, man. I fucked up and didn't get you some this time. I'll no, get, you get. It. You I get, get you two bags next time, man. <laughs> but two little no, bags. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I'm more of a chocolate guy, anyways. Are you? Yeah, I don't really like. I like I, what, I do chocolate? like them, like Twix. I love Twix. Yeah, Twix. Twix. Like I'm like, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. That's like my go-to. Like I'll I'll hit the gas station almost like every morning. It's like Monsters, cigarettes, and like sometimes a Twix bar. So good for you, man. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, (laughs) it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty nuts. I'm I'm a kid. I like Kit Kat, Reese's peanut butter cup. Yeah. I Those feel like are pretty I'm much done. the best I feel like ones, I'm derailing. I'm like, yeah, this is my day. But bro, who the fuck cares? This you know is your I podcast. Do? You're okay. here with me, bro. You know what I do? That's, what do you do, man? So what I do is I'll, 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 there's like three gas stations by my house. And I'll like, I'll be like, damn, I hit that gas station like three days in a row. Like I can't show up there again and get the same thing. Like two monsters. <laughs> <Two years cigarettes. laughs> why not <laughs> because i'm embarrassed because it's always the same person there yeah but that's i think that's what's cool you just remind me of but like a they, banker I, but bro now like I you know, always know the people what I, up joe <laughs> hey no what's going on but the problem I is mean? i know i know like three or four of them <laughs> <laughs> now you know the, all the people is like yeah you, so what do you do you got a schedule mondays and wednesdays fridays like or <laughs> yeah <laughs> you I rotate mean, I every schedule, third day <laughs> but i just i just like me- mess around with it every once in a while and I was like, dude, I, I I do so. I literally go to the gas station so much that I know like the, one of the clerks. She got her hair, her hair, she yeah, dyed it, yeah. And I was like, oh, you dye your hair, and she's like, how the fuck did you know? <laughs> so where you fucking go? You know, it's funny you said that because I went to one gas station over here, and she was like, she just started venting to me. She was like, you know, people don't have cashier etiquette. I was like, what the fuck's cashier etiquette? I think you told me about that, and because you I pushed did. the things towards the well, scanner. Well, she was like, nah. She was like, uh, you know, no one faces the scan. The scan bar to the scanner. Like, if you would, if she was like, if you would face it that way, it would be easier for me to just go boom. Right. Like, you would make my flow better. And I was just like, listen, she was just venting to me, but I'm listening. And the next time I came in, I did it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> face the scanner to her. That's funny. And I was like, see, I remember you did it. And she's like, what are you talking about? You told me about this, da, 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 da. And she was like, oh, man, yeah. thank you. And ever since then, every time I go in there, like, yeah. And she's like, how you doing? She's super nice too. Yeah. It is nice to have that that camaraderie with just like a random Yeah, just like, like hey, that. hey, what up? 
Like the dog just came oh, in, man. Yeah. Pu- yeah. What are you Roommate's doing, dog man? hanging out. He should be good. I think he'll be all right. Yeah, he just want fruit from me. Why do you like me all of a sudden now? <laughs> I don't know, man. But yeah, uh, but like the, the, getting back to the podcast stuff, man, it's, it's been really, really, really cool doing all this, you know? Yeah. Even though I'm like more on the back end, it's like, I don't know, just hearing everybody's stories, like hearing James's story. Hell yeah. A lot of people like resonated with it. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen though. Yeah, bro. I, I said it before. You did. You were hyped like, about that one. Yeah, um, what did you? What that was you, good, man. I've honestly, I think I've liked a little bit of each and every one of them. They all give me something different, and yeah. that's like one thing I, I guess to spring up now. Like I said it on, or I guess I said on Lissette's podcast, but that's coming out this Thursday. Yeah. So this it'll come out a week before this. It'll one. be out by the time this comes out. So oh yeah, it'll be yeah. out before this one comes out. Um, but we talk about conversations and how important those things are. Yeah. So I, f- I feel like I'm learning every something every week. Yeah. And it's like. And now that I'm doing this podcast every time, yeah. every week, once or twice a week, it's like I find myself consistently learning mm-hmm. and I can't bullshit myself anymore. It's like, oh, I see what you're doing and then I'm letting it out. I'm talking about it. And then Lisette, I would say Lissette's podcast number nine was the first one where I didn't have like a hangover afterwards. Like, I wish I would have took notes. Right. I wish I would have fucking asked this question. I wish I would have or... You know, did I ask what they're going to do next or what? Like, I didn't really have an agenda after that one. But every podcast before that, I was like, fuck, okay, I got to learn. People here got to chill. Bring some water. Bring some drinks. These fucking cushions on the chairs that we have. <laughs> you oh, know? I know. They, these cu- just the, they're the, way better. <laughs> the littlest thing, like a cushion uh, yeah. on the chair where you're yeah. at, your ash is acknowledge, acknowledge things when they come in, like that dog or the dog barking right. or when the you know, j- gum. <laughs> someone's yeah, chewing, know. Someone's chewing the, gum, you know? That was it's the one like, thing we, we messed up on. We, do, we should have told James to put his take his gum out but but yeah um even even when i just did it earlier i know i caught myself what you were talking and then instead of just listening i was like yeah yeah it's like dude that oh, i've, I've like heard that, that right there yeah i yeah. heard that in podcasts and it drives me nuts i literally this is such a meta thing like to be talking about it. But, yeah. i mean that's but that's, but that's the what theme. this whole thing is for this is what i want to do i want to do yeah. 10 number 10 episode i was like fuck it this is our episode we made it to 10 yeah like the app you i think the average episode podcast ends at seven yeah that's what you had told me right i think that's what i heard from a a article i read and my brother-in-law told me to verify i was like okay well then we got to get past seven you know there's almost two million podcasts i'm sure there's a lot if if you think about that that's like what there's almost like every episode type thing or like two million different two million different podcasts shut the fuck up yeah i did not know that it's like 1.9 that's crazy yeah so like <laughs> there's a lot of motherfuckers though <laughs> but if you think about i think that's in just the u.s yeah so if you think about it it kind of bummed me out when i heard this i guess it kind of bummed me out right now too yeah but it but it, but, but it doesn't matter but I'm like you're saying like, though it's going past you know what i mean so like like you're saying where it's all it, like it, i'm just letting you know it bummed me out at first yeah, but yeah then yeah. i thought about it it's like it almost inspired me a little bit to be like okay like I need to push it to the next level. Like what I need to do stuff to help make this stuff that we're making yeah. stand out more. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be making more clips from the podcast. Yeah. I need to do these little things, all the little things. And I yeah. think it's just about con- consistency, man. Like yeah. what, what, man, I'm not here to fucking get rich overnight. I'm not even here to look to get rich. I guess it's just like, I like talking to people and I hope I can make this my profession. You know right. what I'm saying? But like, I don't need million. If I can just make enough money to be do this and be with my family, I feel like that's a win. Yeah, I think about that all the time. Too. It's a win if I can literally just sustain the same lifestyle I'm living right now. I live a pretty good lifestyle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like no, I know. Yeah, so if I literally can just sustain that just from doing this or starting the other business, like the things I want, that's a win for me. I, that 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 is definition of success. Anything that comes after that, then it's fucking golden. I just want to be able to do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. Just having like the room, the the room to do what you want, like you just said. I don't know. I, that's what I I want to like you. Yeah, I've told you. I'm, I'm trying like, to yeah. get out of the. You know, I was working in the nightclub day club industry for yeah. so long, and I'm just like, dude, I'm I'm over it. You know. Yeah, like fuck that. I I think it just went to sleep. Yeah, quick, I don't know. But what, it should be good. Whatever. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah. Um, you, actually, I'm gonna just double check. Really okay, quick, but you, he's talking about the computer. We're talking about the computer right now since we're sitting over here on this side of the screen. Mike is over there in the computer. 
it went to sleep but yeah man so like i guess that's the thing you guys people can think about like what is your definition of success you know like people we all have different definitions of success if you want i mean i got a certain amount of money that i want to make but it's not like it's not like a def- don't they say after like seventy thousand dollars a year you Everything after that is kind of meaningless. Yeah. That's a, right. Well, there's like certain happiness is only reached, but I think it's like over 75,000 or something. Right. Yeah. Like anything between 75,000 and, and above, it's, you're not going to be, yeah. it's not going to ex- like help you with your happiness. Yeah. Unless you're just a fucking idiot and don't know how to manage your budget. You can make a hundred thousand dollars. Living within your means is like the, the easiest thing. You exactly. can make a hundred thousand dollars and if you're spending 90, yeah, then you're not doing <laughs> or like even you know, ninety five. You know? Yeah, like <laughs> you're not doing anything, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're why you you know what's the stat average, especially with all this COVID shit going on. Like, it was very seen that people were living like they can't go past two paychecks. Oh yeah, right. Like I think last time I read, I mean, quote me, you guys can fucking validate whatever. But I think it was like six months ago, a year ago, or something. I don't fucking know. But the last time I saw the average 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 American is fifteen thousand dollars in credit card debt. Oh, that's crazy. I'm not. I'm not either. I didn't go to college either. No, nope. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I had to go but yeah, but you were military. But right? yeah, I'm fucking crazy. Anyways, I don't. I just feel like my thing is is why you know Duncan really helped me on that one of the on the podcast, Paul Duncan, because we were talking about paying off my car, and he was like, "What the fuck? Like you have the funds or whatever it is, like pay it off. Yeah. Like why?" If anything goes on with your work, then it's fucking like it's so you're just sitting there. And then it just really made me think about my it's like ego and how much it looks good to have money in their their bank account. You know, looks good to see it there. And I'm like, yeah, hold on. Let me log on to my bank right now. Look at it right now. You know, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But then I'm paying a fucking, you know, paying for this truck that I got, you know, it's just like, okay, well, just pay it off. And now I'm free. Now I'm making more extra money. And I'm at. It feels good to own, just like not have to worry about it. Yeah, like I don't worry. I just pay the basic shit. It's, we sold our house, so I'm mm-hmm. like living in an apartment right now, something totally new. Yeah, and it's just kind of like, it's kind of cool because like I ain't got to worry about nothing. Like something breaks, hey bro, can y'all come fix the <laughs> shit? Like or something this. That like is I'm the not nice thing about renting. Yeah, you know. And now I'm just waiting for the the right house. Like it has to be a house that I really want. The last house was just like the first house, first time my kids were good. It was little, they were little in there and we were good. Now I'm like, I'm gonna patiently wait, patiently yeah. wait. Yeah. Yeah. I want, I don't know. I'm, I'm still far from getting a house right now, but, but uh, yeah, it's fun. I was just thinking when you were talking about like paying off your car, it's, I've seen, uh, do you know Mr. Beast on YouTube? Dude, he's he's like huge. He's blown yeah. up, and he just like gives money away. Like, Mr. Beast, I feel like that. He like gives money okay. away to um, to like he'll go and like on random people streaming on Twitch. Yeah, and he'll just give away. He'll give them like ten thousand dollars. What? Like donate it to their stream or whatever. But uh, but man, like I was watching a couple videos, and it was like okay, the last person to mm. leave or like last person to take your hands off this gets off this car gets uh like ten thousand oh, dollars yeah. whatever it is <laughs> right and like man he's they he's like what are you gonna do if you get the money right and he's asking these guys yeah and he's like oh i'm gonna buy another beamer and it's just now that after this especially after this covid stuff yeah. happened i hear that and i'm like what you're gonna get another what? car like yeah invest it or do something else with it yeah what like, are you talking yeah. about <laughs> like why do you want more I was shit like, Dude, it's like 10 like if i had like an extra 10 grand or 20 grand to like oh my god what are you doing yeah hell yeah oh i'm gonna go on this trip that's nuts that is nuts that, yeah. that's your first instinct it's just you know i think that's the, the the world of amazon we live in man instant gratification yeah they can't wait they can't let it ride they can't flow everyone wants shit now bro i yeah. mean i like amazon i ordered some shit yesterday she was at my it house right now nice. you know but you can't imply that to everything you can't like the real what is that? I don't know. Fucking phrase. It's so temporary. anything worth anything worth having is worth working for. Yeah, you know, like you have to you have to get it. It's not gonna come easy. Anything worth it ain't gonna be easy. I don't know who said it. I don't know fuck the right quote, but that's pretty much what yeah. the fuck it is. No, for a hundred percent. Well, that's just like when I don't know. Yeah, when you get like the stimulus check. Did you get yours? Yeah. Okay. Like it's crazy. <laughs> it is pretty wild that they're just like everybody. It's weird, man. It is weird. Right? It's weird, bro. Like it's like, but yes. like, but I feel, but I, and then I'm like, I oh, it's like you're saying though. I didn't, 
I didn't feel like I earned it. So yeah. it feels even, you know, I've been, I've been, I haven't been working. So I'm like on unemployment and whatnot. And when I get that money, bro, it feels so different than like, it feels so different than with money I worked for. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just so different. It is. Yeah. It feels weird. I mean, it's good. I feel like I'm good. I'm glad you brought that up. It's like good. The systems are there to help assist. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And it's good that we have that type of stuff to help people move on. I think the thing that really gets me in these moments and I try to manage it with inside myself is like, don't get comfortable to this no. shit, bro. <laughs> because yeah. people like to own you. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, <clears throat> yeah, the, it, I notice I, I get comfortable quick. Like if I, if I only, I don't need much, you know yeah. what I mean? So I, I'm trying to adjust to that, like, you know, chasing more than because I'm dude, I'll get I've I've lived in my car. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I've, yeah, yeah. I've been in such crappier yeah, sp- yeah. positions <laughs> that like, you know, I'll now, survive. I, now I live in this house and I have some yeah. roommates, but it's like a nice house. And yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and I, so I just get so comfortable. Like, yeah. I have all my things that I like, you know, I have a nice big bed. It's just. I get I get comfortable very quickly. I think that's the belief system, bro. That's like the thing we get we get comfortable, but you got to have a belief system of like wanting to be uncomfortable because that's where growth comes from. Well, right. Like honestly, I've thought about that with the unemployment, mm-hmm. where I've thought about uh, just not collecting it anymore. Oh, just cancel. Even it. though I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because, like, there was a there was you a gotta time. Fo- it's gonna force you to move, dude. It was crazy. So there was like a time between. Uh, where like you know you had to reapply for it. Yeah, it was like the a couple months had ended, and I remember I went to apply for it, and uh, right when I went to apply for it, like it took a couple, like it took like a week for it to uh, to happen, or a week and a half or two weeks. So I didn't have like that that check. Yeah, like you didn't know in. it was coming, and then I was like, You're oh panicking? shit, and I was panicking, dude. I'm like I'm like trying to sell couches and stuff. <laughs> I'm like doing all this stuff, dude. And uh, and I, but it was crazy. It got, you know, I went from like being like kind of lazy, just like laying and yeah. laying around just consuming whatever, garbage, whatever. Yeah. And then all of a sudden dude, it switched. I was like, Oh God, I, I gotta go. I, I gotta start. I got bills shit. to pay. Yeah. Dude. Hell yeah, man. You because know? survival kicks in, bitch. Like I got, so I, quick. I gotta, I gotta move. So after that happened, I was like, man, I was like, I don't know if I should be collecting this unemployment, but I still do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it does so, give me the ability to. Yeah, but like we're doing this, like you're doing right. stuff too. It's not like you're doing nothing, right? And I think yeah. that's the major thing. Like, are you working on something? Are you trying to build something? Because how many people, like, I mean, they're, they're like, I know a person who literally is like just haven't done nothing. Just goes in the garage, play video games, and just chills, and just like, yeah, I don't know when I'm going back to work. Yeah, and I'm like, you're not gonna try to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, so there's like a difference for sure. You yeah, know, between trying to do something. Oh my gosh, pups! Uh, what was that? He just I don't know. He just makes little noises. That was a, I was I thought that was a person or something, oh, no, bro. No. I was like, what the hell just happened? My roommate's dog just wandering. Yeah, but um, but yeah, man, I feel like I've been really enjoying this podcast so far. I really like sitting here. When I come here now, it's just like, okay, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, this is kind of you know, I, like kinda, this is kind of nice over here. Yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, I kind of like it. Yeah, man, it's cool. And then having these people over talking about different shit, it's like it exposes different parts of me and then it gets different parts of me out and then talking and then hearing their story. Like I'm saying, like it just, it really just, it's, it's, it's been motivating me to keep on. And I, I just feel like my life has been, it's been getting better, man, if I'm quite honest. It just, and even in just little things like how I talk to people, how I deal. Right. Matt, you know, everybody, shout out if you subscribed and listening and everything. Cause yeah, I, I appreciate it. Yeah. I got friends that are listening, posting this on social media. Like, right. and then some people yeah. want to help. Like, who, you know, do, 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 give you some guests and this and that. Like, um, we're whatever you need. I'm just like, I really appreciate all the feedback, like, and all the positivity. Like, appreciate you guys for what you guys are doing and yeah. stuff. Um, so, yeah, just hoping, yeah. trying to, trying to make it. If you really want to help, like say if you're listening to this and you're, yeah, if you really want to help, the, you leave that uh, rating and review on like the Apple Podcast app or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, app yeah there you use, go. That, that like genuinely, because that's how like their algorithm works and they, they push And they look podcasts. it up. Yeah. 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 So put a rate and review. Appreciate it. Please. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't, I, I, I don't like to get a bag for stuff like that, but I get, you know, you're thanking nah, people. Bad. So it's Fuck. like while we're at you know, it. 
I've thought that thing, but it's just like, for me, it was like, man, why can't I sell, like when I was a recruiter or at the bank, like I can sell their shit, right? right. I want, you want to get a checking card, you want to get a fucking credit card, you want to join the army, you want to fucking do this, you want to do that. Why, why, why do we feel bad to sell our shit? Yeah, I don't Especially know. Especially if like we're trying to make it good. Like we're, it's not like we're learning. We're, we're putting effort to this shit. Like you I'm, know what it is? You know? I think it's that, that, that like punk mindset where you're like, don't sell out. I just like, I think I have that in the back of my head. I, I feel you. Just, like, well, you know, I got, cares? I met somebody and he was talking to me about like uh, networking and meeting people in the community and all this different stuff. And it's just like, as, as time gets on and people start reaching out and see what we're doing, people are going to be reaching out. I feel like, you know, and it's just like, I think that, that thought always needs to be there. Right. To like self check us because I don't, I want this to not we're not chasing the money here. Like, you know, right. we're not trying to like, like you did the that, one with Lissette. Like it was really, it was really dope to have Lissette on there, but you, uh, but like, just because you, I mean, let's be real. She does have like a huge following. Yeah. 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 You know, it's nice to have that. She's awesome. She was like, yeah, really yeah. fun. She fucking was, um, but she learned from you. Like she said, yeah. it like multiple times yeah, during, yeah. That, during the episode. And so for her to be able to like say that, so it's like, it's we're just trying to help with like provide something, you know? Yeah. We're just trying to have real conversations with people, what's going on and just share what I've learned and learn what they learn. And with that, you know, with that podcast, it made me think about like, you don't, I always got to stay reminded that I can, I'm going to, I can learn from every single person on this planet, something. And maybe not just once, you know, I think some people think they might have so much money or so they're, they're so fucking prestige and they're this and that. And it's just like, bro, like, you going to be six feet under too, homie. Like, yeah. there's, you you shit at night. You throw up when you're sick. Your mama wiped your ass. And your kids are going to wipe your ass when you're old, probably. Shut the fuck up. Right. You know, like, so it's just like. There's kinda, more to it, for sure. There's a bunch to it. Yeah. Like, you can always learn from somebody, period. For sure. Yeah, like, I'm trying to think. Like, even just, like, Tyson was, like, what, the second, the second episode? Really? Yeah. And on YouTube, it says second episode because the first episode is tip is technically on it's yeah Apple and Spotify. So just yeah. saying that out right I, now. I I might just upload it the audio with like the logo on there. Oh okay. You know yeah. And just have the. Audio I saw I actually saw something like that yesterday. Someone posted a podcast, but it was literally just the pictures of them. Right. And it was. And yeah, it, yeah. And people it was, do people yeah. do that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just like I don't know I you know what it is is I like video format stuff no I like it better too I, I like the video format yeah. too I know a lot of people you know it's not really their thing but I, I just think like especially you know we're just having conversations we don't add well sometimes I add like graphics in it yeah 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 but you know we're not su- super adding stuff like that but yeah but whatever so- like we're gonna figure out as we go and that's the thing too it's just like if this wants to continue we're gonna we're going to, I don't know how to say it. We're going to scratch any itches that we want to scratch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if like, we feel like doing this, well, that's the great thing of this is our shit. Let's do you, this. I will say you've been killing it on like kind of, you know, I've, I've been like, you know, I've obviously just been more like support. Yeah. But like, you've been really like killing it on getting guests and stuff like that. Like when you hit me up, like all excited. Yeah. And I gave it like, it motivates <laughs> me not in just with this. But yeah. 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 In other aspects yeah. too, man. It's like, it's, it's cool to see. I appreciate that, man. But you fucking, you're, you being here, man. Like I know it's a lot that you do here. And then I think about you during the week and I'm like, this motherfucker's over here, like adding a video, making yeah. sure this shit's on Apple. And it's just like, I, you motivate me too, man. It's, yeah. a, it's a, it's a win win that we found here. But really, really though, like, cause we, even with the fantasy podcast, I'm, I'm, uh, that we do, it's called AVG fantasy football. Yeah, if you want to check it go out, go check it out. Uh, AVG fantasy football on yeah. YouTube. So, uh, but yeah, if you want, or with that, like I'm learning things from, from you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm kind of like putting more, uh, kind of control with, uh, the other guy that I do it with Tyler. Yeah. And I'm like, Hey bro, like. Like I kind of like the way Ronnie does uh, his podcast. Like he, he kind of just like he's in charge and he tells me what's up. Like oh we're gonna have this guest. Yeah, we, yeah. We kind of like work together on scheduling things yeah. and it, and it works really well. I was like Dude, I I would like you to have that and then like you have, oh. you know what I mean? And yeah, because if you have it, bro, it's a lot. Like because, your tech shit is a lot because well, like the way that you do that. That's that this past year because like the other guys that you know it's more of like a passion thing. We just love yeah of football. course yeah yeah yeah. So like. 
but uh those other guys like you know they just were busy man with like work and all that stuff and uh, I, w- I wasn't really working so like i took like on a lot doing it and we add like a lot of visuals and a lot of stuff we yeah. were doing live streams you know that stuff's like super time sensitive it was just a lot for me man it was so, bro it was, you know like, that's really good that you speak of that because i think that's a very important point like you got to know your boundaries bro Cause like you got to know when you're what you're best at and what you're good at and how how much time you can show up with that thing. Because people make them. I, I think people make that mistake all the time. Is like, I, which I do all the time, man. Because I'm very much like, oh, I can figure it out. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that was from growing up. My mom's boyfriend did like d- did that to me. Yeah. Because he's just like, oh, I have the boys do it. Me and my brother, Google it. Just Google, Google it. it. Google yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, how do you f- tra- change like? anything know, like, bro like anything that happened in the house he bought goats and he's like you guys need to build a goat pen and i was like <laughs> we didn't like it we lived in like a suburban area oh yeah that's too funny and he just man. brought two goats over and he's nice. like hey and then he you just gave us a bunch of yoga? wood and he's like yeah <laughs> <Kinda>. <laughs> but like they but he's like yeah build a pen a goat pen I don't, me and my brother i was like me right now I'm like, i was no, like 14 no, no, no. and my brother's like 12 so they yeah. could sleep in it you yeah know? yeah yeah but like i'm like dog i don't know how to do that and he's like just google it it's just shit like that so i have that in in my head yeah you got probably programmed to do and that so like that's what i'm learning from you yeah just being this like i'm learning even in yeah, other yeah aspects you know what i mean yeah so i'm appreciative of that big time well that's how i mean that's what i my biggest thing i mean honestly that's why i'm so appreciative of you is because I couldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you because I tried. It's like a balance. Yeah, it's the balance because I tried to do it myself, like the mics and the recorder, whatever the fuck that thing's called. It's like, (laughs) all right. And I would I have like episodes. I have like conversations on those things. But then when it came to editing and actually putting on, you know, YouTube or, or Apple and all, it's like. I can't sit here for two hours and figure this out. I got my kids are young as fuck. Like I'm working. I, I can't. Yeah. So that's why I'm so appreciative yeah, of you on kid, doing that. That's you know, another thing you got kids, man. It's like, I don't even think about that. Yeah, bro. That's, I mean, I do, but like, no, I know like consistently, bro. Like my life is a grind and that's, it's like, I, I want some, I want to be somewhere, bro. Like yeah. I have a destination in mind. <laughs> it's like, if, and, and literally it's just kind of like, I want to make the same amount of money right now. And I don't mean it's not all about money, but it's like resource. I need to have a certain amount of resources. I'm not, and I'm trying to figure out how to build that in different avenues. I'm doing the stock market. I'm doing this. I'm doing the business thing. I'm doing this mountain work training. Like I'm trying to get multiple skills so I can be of service. But those, these things that I'm doing are actually what I like to do. Right. So it's like, I am, bro, I don't go, I mean, I mean, I have a pretty good schedule, but I, I'm always moving. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I wake up, I do some stock shit. I freaking maybe work out or take the kids to school, cook breakfast, go to work, do the shit. Like I'm always multitasking, man. Right not more like, multitasking, but like I'm doing from one thing to the next. I feel like you really have to manage your time. I do. Cause yeah. Cause that, I yeah. Mean, I, that's what I'm starting to figure out too. Yeah. With, with my schedule is like, dude, like it's it, not anywhere as packed, but I'm starting to fill it up. And you got to provide structure for yourself, man. And we yeah. were just talking about drinking. That's why, like, I feel like I, I'm not drinking anymore. That's another Bro. reason, too. I know. I drank last night, and I'm just like, uh, I, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Bro, like, you know, just I trying to, like, your, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that on another episode. No, yeah, we'll do that. We could do that the whole. We'll do a whole episode on that when you're ready to do that. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but. But no drinking. Well, alcohol is, like, not a thing that helps you a lot. But you know what? I, I was talking to someone the other day. I'm like getting mad at James for the gum, and I'm over here eating <laughs> strawberries, dude. <laughs> so I'm glad you said it because I thought it. I was like, <laughs> now he's making a sound right now, <laughs> dude. So, uh, what, what was I about to say? Fuck about drinking. Oh, oh yeah. So like, no, I've never woken up and been like, damn, dude, I'm really glad I drank that much last night. Like, you, like you always wake up and you're like, fuck, I, w- I wish I didn't drink that much. I mean, now, you, you the never, only time, yeah, the only time I did that was probably like when I was like 18 or some shit. Like, right. fuck yeah, man, I'm got we had a fucking blast I, last night, bro. But I got, I can't never remember talk the like last, that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't remember the last time where I drank and I was like, damn, dude, that was sick blacking out. Like, yeah, that when never. I was in high school, that was like, uh, we loved that. Yeah, it's always, a, bro. What yeah. did I do? Oh, bro, you like, you, you peed on this guy. I don't know. Yeah. Why we would pee on each other. But like, <laughs> it was really funny. But like, you know, it just, I don't know. Like, no, I know. Well, I see, I feel what you're saying, man, because that's the same thing. It's like, I never, it never really feels good the next day if you do too much. You know, you have a glass of wine, you have one beer at dinner, 
whatever those little chills that to, to hit that nerve got to turn on the camera yeah, a little bit switching. yep do what you got to do bro um it just never really feels that good and like i don't why why drink if you know that it's not why drink excessively or a lot if you know it's not good for your body it just gives you that temporary that feel to it and that's i mean we can just okay that temporary feel like why yeah. can't you have that without alcohol right yeah. and then like okay so then if something okay well i can't have it because i'm stressed out at work well why are you stressed out at work well <laughs> the fucking boss is a bitch and she's just, okay so why are you working there right it's almost like you're it's it, you're like hiding your real problem yeah it's like what is really going on if you're always want to be consistently drunk yeah or if you just always want to be consistently that's fucked it, up like, that's, yeah if you look super look forward to the weekend yeah or that's, that's another thing you know what i mean it's like yeah damn, your work sucks that much that you're just like i can't wait for the weekend yeah so like it's, what? It's, what that's, that's why or what is Maybe your you life need to i just thought about that with like adjusting work or whatever you know yeah Get, no like, for why, sure like, if you don't like your position or what like what even if it's like why, why are you waiting until friday or saturday and sunday like what do you do are you literally after work? Do you just go home and like, I mean, I guess we, I mean, I used to do that, right? Like we, right. I, at some point I was doing that, right? I would go to work. I would come home, cook dinner, fucking put a movie on, chill, go to bed, you know? And then the same cycle over and over and over and over again. Yeah. And then after a while, it's just like, what the fuck am I doing, bro? <laughs> like I'm wasting my goddamn time. And I hate he, my fucking job. I don't want to be when here. You're distracted by alcohol. You're just, just, you don't real you don't realize like that you you hate it so much because you just like you don't even have a second to like think about it. Yeah, man. And when you're young, and I feel like our society kind of pushes alcohol on us. It's like you're 21, you're and especially living in Vegas. You know, I don't know other cities, but in Vegas, bro, like you're partying I mean, before you're 21, dude. I, in, in Arizona, I partied pretty hard bro it's just that scene because i was in i worked in scottsdale okay and you could be 19 to serve alcohol in scottsdale oh so obviously so i was working at nightclubs at like 19 dude and we were going to like after parties yeah for sure owners yeah yeah i'm sure doing a little little (laughs) doing a little smugger (laughs) smugger you know what i mean yeah bro and it's just kind of like the refrigerator but that's what i'm saying so it's like you get caught up but that so that's a great thing you brought out like environment like your environment is so important yeah <laughs> sorry bro you can you can you can eat all you want while while i'm fucking talking you know eat up bro if you're not if you just listen to audio <laughs> i took a raspberry i ate it and i just i he just made this you. look like i was hella He's guilty like- <laughs> but uh but environment's important man like how your work how your friends are if that's like if everyone fucking does that it's gonna be hard to break that yeah that's why sometimes like when you grow and you're changing and you're like wanting better typically sometimes your friends change man it's yeah. not even like ill on them, but it's kind of like I'm trying to be something different and other people give you permission to be that or not that. And like when you're around people who drink a lot or anything, you know, overeat, watch movies all fucking day, don't do shit. Like you just go over the house and chill and you guys don't talk to your friends. Like, do you really know your friends? Right. You know, like all these things are real questions. And if you're not fucking happy, then there's some shit that's not missing. So get the fuck out there and boom, you know, yeah. figure it out because you're doing a you know, I'm about to go on my rant right now. I told you about, okay, bro. Okay, yeah. Let's yeah, dog. It. Like, it's just like, so I'm like a little fucking pissed off today about like, like I don't want to get in specifics. But some work stuff. But I'm not cool with half-ass people. Like, I'm not cool You're with- You're more of a full-ass kind of guy. Yeah, full-ass, bro. <laughs> I got. I need both cheeks, homie. Not half that chick, half that cheek. You know, like, yeah. I need- Get your ass in there and fucking work. And everyone who's half-assing it, taking apart, taking fucking advantage of the systems that are played, taking advantage of each other, like, you fucking know inside if you're working hard or not. You. Yeah. And and the fuck, the, the real point is that everyone around you knows too, but they might not say shit to you. Yeah. No. Just yeah. because you're cool doesn't mean, like, you're a fucking worker. Right. You know, and I just feel like, how much of our society suffers from half-assed people? How many how many people work at a job they don't really fucking like? But it's like one thing, you know, I've not always liked being in the military. I go ups and downs. But the, the belief that I have is if, if I half-assed in one part of my life, 
that is going to affect other parts of my life. Just like you, you literally just said that about the podcast, how it's affected other uh, yeah. parts of your life. So it's like if you half ass one part, you're going to half ass other parts. You hear me out there? You're going to half ass other parts if you half ass one part of your life. Understand that your mind doesn't know the difference of different categories based off your habitual habits. Stop being a half ass person because you're affecting everybody out there. And then morale goes down, bro, when people see that shit and then they get promoted or they get moved into a better position or they get a this, this, this. And then the people who are fucking really working, everyone knows who the real leaders are. Right. Even if you whatever your promotion. We're going to talk about managers very quick and leadership. Okay. Managers are about like processes, techniques, things, and fucking like standards type thing. Like application of things. A to Z. It's like uh, applying almost like. The, Just application. Applying like the. the, the uh the manual for work you know yeah 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 it's like that but then leadership you know making that manual well it's like inspiring the people to do things purpose direction and motivation and inspiration like leadership is the people is the person who's in there with you like what's going on with you man how are you doing what's happening having this conversation yeah we're gonna go this way and we're gonna go this way because of this 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 and i think we should do this is everyone on board yeah yeah, 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 good, good. Oh, hell yeah, let's all do it together and everyone's in the same what I, motion. What if I say, no, that's this sucks? Then, hey, then and we'll talk like, oh, about it. that's th- adjust. Yeah, and right. then we'll talk about it and have a discussion. And then sometimes, hey, this discussion has to be, this might not be here for you. Or then we have another conversation. And then, you know, you just, you find out. Have Once again, have conversations with the people around you because you got to, if you're not happy, man, it's because you're not fucking happy and you're not choosing to fucking... Figure so, your shit out. So in this example that made you upset. Yeah, bro. It was someone half-assed something, and then they, like, nobody, like, uppers didn't pay attention to it. I'm bro, not trying to pry no, too much, good. you know? Uppers asked the stupid. I don't want you to uh, uh, dig uppers, too. Uppers didn't, didn't look at the, you know, that's a great question you bring up. How, you know, and in the comments, if you guys have any ideas and shit, like, and, and if you on Spotify, I mean, on Apple and Spotify... Um, go to YouTube and write this shit down. How does higher leadership in any high in any major corporation, right, or a government agency or anything, how do they determine who's best for upper mobility higher positions if they don't know what the person who applying is has done or not done? I feel like we're in a very like political culture right now, and everything's about diversity and inclusion and all these different things. Right. So you think that sometimes like, that gets in the way of people like your work still needs to speak for itself, right? You like you need to have bang. the work ethic, the 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 history of performance, and be fucking I'm gonna say emotional intelligent, in te- mentally intelligent, communication intelligent. Like it's not oh you did a good job, but if you're a dick and you did a good job by force, no one wants to work with you. And you can be a smart, you know, emotional person and, and, and empathetic and all that shit. But if you're if you don't if you're not producing results, it's like you got to be both, man. Right. You got to be trying to improve yourself daily. Understand communication. Communication is everything. Have those conversations. Have that leadership. Understand management. You got to be able to do both sides. It's not one or the other. It's manage and leadership. Both need to be incorporated. But how does upper leadership do that if they don't ask the people down there who are managing them directly and then make a decision? And I'm just like ranting right now because it's just like, you know, people put in the time, bro. Yeah. People put in the work and people, this is like a thing and pay attention in your own, you know, I, I reflect on it because I see it and um, I see it, you know, I see it a lot in the military. It's just like, and I'm sure other corporations see the same. Wherever you're at, ask yourself, who are the real leaders? Even if, and that means not even if they're in the positions of leadership. I feel like a lot of times you can just, you know, that person walks into a room and you can just like smell it on them. Like you just like, you, you feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone walks in the room and you're, they're like, oh yeah, they almost like take control of what's going on. Like subconsciously your brain is like, oh, you alpha. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm choked. I had a buddy. His uh, older brother was like that. Oh, 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 you alpha. Bro, like subconsciously, <laughs> I feel like you, you, sometimes. No, it, you know. You're right, bro. Because, I, dude, I remember this kid, his, his older brother, like, 
he would just like walk into the room and then all of a sudden like everybody's just do whatever yeah, yeah. he says goes. And it wasn't like he was being a dick, like not forcing like you were talking about. Yeah. But it just it just like happened. It just happens. And that's the thing. Like you got to pay attention to human behavior. We're just like nature, man. Things are like that happen all around us. And but are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? Yeah. Are you fucking paying attention to your environment? Right. That's why environment's so important. So yeah, man, that's my little rant today. <laughs> Don't be a fucking half ass. You're fucking us all over. We're on Go this one planet force. by like be either jump in or fucking get the fuck out because you're doing yourself a disservice disservice most of all. You're doing yourself a disservice. But guess what? We're all fucking connected, so you're fucking everyone or else around you. And god damn it. I'm tired of being fucked it, by everyone else around me. <laughs> it does suck. It does suck when people like half ass. I will, there was this one. Uh, so obviously, I worked at like a day club, and day club. Uh, we had a. This is just like a, a half ass story, like a story about someone being half ass kind of, and uh, like you know, you had all your setup underneath your table, like as a busser for the VIP like bottle service tables. Mm-hmm. You had like cups and champagne flutes and like shot glasses, whatever the table would need, mm-hmm. and uh, what, like. If you you would have to go to the back to like refill the stuff, like if they run out of plastic cups. But some people, if they're lazy, they would just swoop underneath your table that was next door and swoop yours. Savage. And you prep and you prep that like before the thing. You Savage. Know? And they would do it. And while you're not looking, yeah, like you, like say you're not in your section or like oh, you're in the back or something. Man. So like, so it's, but it's really Damn. frustrating because like you'll get be like they'll be like, all right, this guy has a three thousand dollar minimum, and they're like, oh, we're gonna do champagne, and you just assume your glasses are underneath there. Yeah, because you put them there, you're right? But then like you you go to get them, and then you're like, oh, oh my shit. god, and then there was all I don't know, it's just the whole thing. But I remember this this you, you never know every different types of industries, all the little things yeah, how people fuck little, each other over, you know? So like they, it was so funny though because uh, so they would like. This one, so, this one homie, I'm actually still friends with him. He's a, he's a good dude. He, he's uh, he's out of the dude. industry too. His name's Cody. But hey, Cody. Yeah, but Cody, dude, he was like notorious for it. He would swoop your stuff all the time. And so they the people would like they they would have like videographers, you know, they would do, do uh, uh, like promo videos and okay. stuff of like yeah. you know busy days. And dude, in the promo video, no. you see him in the background, just like like like. Look around and just swoop the cups and run off. And we're like, Cody. Oh, Everybody man. was in the comment. It was on Instagram. Everybody's in the comments like, Cody, you swooped it. We got our shit. Yeah, it was hella funny. But but looking back, Cody with the sticky fingers. During well, during work, it used to drive <laughs> me nuts. But now that I'm out of it, it's like it's funny. Oh yeah, of course. Hell yeah, because it doesn't matter now. <laughs> I mean, I've done that. I've done that when I. Worked Everyone's too. probably done. You know, we've all been fucked up. I just somehow. I can't. Lie. You know, I, like I, I was half assing for something for a certain amount of time. You know, it's just. I mean, younger years and days, you know, it's just a part of evolution. But, like, I need you to evolve, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like almost like Dr. Phil. I know. So it's, I'll need- <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Thor. <laughs> now, how does that make you feel? That's good. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm good. I'm not good at doing, like, people. I'm not but good then at I was good at doing accents, but then... Uh, then now I just feel weird. Doing I'm not that. good. I always turn into it's like an like Asian or country person at well, the same time. It's too like racial now. If I do it, people are like, it's like small. a weird, it's a weird thing. You know what I mean? If you do, if you do like, yeah, bro, in a weird I, I'm, fucking I'm too place white right now. I know you can see my face right now. Oh, I can't wink. <laughs> I try to wink at the camera. Uh, no, but like, I'm very white. You know what I mean? You're not that white, but yeah, you're a white dude. Actually, my roommate's grandma asked me if I was Mexican the other day. I think it's just my mustache. It's the mustache. And you know what hair, I was? I was your wearing, long hair. I was wearing a beanie, and so it was just like it. it I could see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the nose ring, you looking yeah. all yeah, I look mm, a little Mexican. dirty Mexican. <laughs> What's oh my going God. on here, bro? Hey, oh, wait, man. you are Mexican. I'm Mexican, bro. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just you know we all do stupid shit, man. Yeah, it's okay. We're all you know it's just part of your growing. It's just I guess it's are you growing? Or are you just going to stay stupid shit the whole time? So, wait, I just want to go back to the podcast really quick. Go back. That's, so yeah. what is your, like. You're asking me questions. Amazing guest. Like what What would be like, a, well, this would be sick if this guest came on. Besides right. like, besides people that we already do podcasts and stuff. You know what I mean? Hmm. Like I don't, I, I don't like not like, okay, obviously like it would be tight if you had like Joe Rogan. I think it would be like cool if you were to able, able to have like, 
I don't know, like Jordan Peterson or something. I like want that. Jordan Peterson. That's that, that's like that'd be sick as fuck. Do you get what I mean though? Like hell yeah, you, like people, Not like, people that. like that. Or people no, no, like no. That. Jordan Peterson. Oh yeah, Jordan I, Peterson for sure. I think he uh, has podcasts, but no, he's he not, does. He's like he he's more known. For, I feel like for his book and stuff like that. Yeah, he's but his podcast is getting he, good, and now he has his wife. His uh, not his wife. His he does have his he, sister's podcast. No, his, or daughter. his daughter. Him and his, he's on his daughter. Yeah, he's Taylor. just so dope. You know, Russell Brand. I would like Roy, to interview Russell Brand. Yeah, I honestly not. I just want to talk to these people. I'm like right. Like the, honestly, it's like I want to be around older men. Who like <laughs> who are like that, bro? No, like right. influence help me, dog. Help yeah. me figure this shit out. Because you clear like, you know, I just started listening to Paul Paul uh Paul Chuck. Paul Chuck? Paul Chuck. Okay. And he's fucking on it with the health stuff and all this. You should look him up on YouTube. He is I'm like, he's sixty years old, he's fit as fuck. I was like, I need I gotta be something like this dude when I'm sixty years old. Right. Like I'm trying to you know, one thing that's what I always looked to when I was younger, man, I was like I've been looking for an older man to like imitate because I didn't have like it's not that I didn't have my dad. I had dads. But it's like almost like a it's man. just like, it's like in a weird way, like a mentor almost in a weird like it's a specific type of person that I'm going after. That you and want. that's the thing that I want to be. Right. I found like, OK, I don't really like this about this person. I don't like this about this person. I didn't like this person, you know. All these different things. It's like, okay, but what do I like? So now I'm paying attention. I like this about that person. I like that about that person. And then I just go to them. Like, I, I go to all these people. I just walk through. That's the great thing about YouTube, man. Is just like, oh, yeah. just get obsessed with them for a while. It's almost, it's almost scary, like, though. Yeah. Because there will be times where I'll, I'll be like, oh, who, this guy's in this thing. Oh, I saw him in another thing. Let me go find out every single thing about this person. Yeah. Cause I'm not, I don't have a job, so I can do that. You can do that right now, but I mean, I feel like if it's if it's educational, it's getting you and it's motivating you in the right way and making your life positive in some way, bringing actually positive results to you. Yeah, you know, feelings and shit. Then like, why not? But I feel like so Paul Check would be one. Um, Aubrey Marcus would be one. Right. David Detta would be one. Um, oh yeah, Jordan you were, Peterson. You talked about. David, David Dedder, Dedder, with, yeah, with, with uh, uh, yeah, Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah, I was all fucked up. That's another lesson I learned. Like, I need to. What I really want to get good at right now is like all the books that I've read. I want to like make effort to remember their names, right? Like the book, like the author, the authors of the books, and I want to like be able to. When I when I say something and you know if it comes to me it's like okay I can say this book and this is what I got that from this person you know like I think Robert Moore from Warrior King Magician Lover you know check it out man you know it's a great book about men archetypes do you when you read do you take notes while you read so not I, all the I time but I'm I, about to start though I feel like I my, don't but so like the girl uh, whatever. So this my friend she uh, she was telling me like like she kind of changed my like perspective on reading because I used to look at it as like a task that needs to get done mm. and she's way more like oh I'm gonna get knowledge from this yeah yeah she's sure. like I'm gonna take my time with this book like just and like she's like sometimes I'll get like the full pretty much like the idea of the book and then I'm like okay I'm done with that which is so weird it's like it's it's like a weird concept. But I kind of that's I what every book has. It. Yeah. Every book has some type of main idea they're trying to get to. Right. And like and she's like, well, I didn't you know, it'll be like, oh, I didn't read that whole book, but I did like learn a lot from this. And she'll take notes and just takes like a, her sweet ass time with it. And I just I always looked at reading like, oh, I got to fucking I, I got to do ten. a chapter Quick. a day. Like, yeah. I gotta do, you know, when it's like, but it, but I'm like, oh, no, it doesn't have to be like that. Yeah. Why don't you just take like, why don't you just read a page? <laughs> You know, it's read funny. two pages. It's so, it, it doesn't sound so simple now that you yeah. know that. Okay, bro. So like, I mean, I never thought about. It. Uh, bro. You know what it is? It's, it's from that fucking. <laughs> I'm tell you something. Right did now. you have accelerated reading when you were a kid, bro? I was in fucking resource. Like I was not oh, okay. good at reading, bro. Okay. Like I was okay, like, okay. I had, I didn't well, really so, get good at reading until like what when like I was twenty a kid, something. When I was a kid, I don't even feel like I'm like good now. <laughs> when I was a kid, they had this thing called AR. It was like accelerated yeah. reader. My yeah. son's in that shit. He fucking and so like yeah, it's like points. So you get like points per book you read and like the harder book the more points you get and you have to get a certain amount of points per semester is, and they cool. based it like off of like how you read but it's just like it forced you to kind of like go run through these books and you, you were know in what that. i'm saying and you had to take a test that's like every kid at my in my elementary school oh. that's how every kid was and it was just they would adjust it based on like your reading level 
Oh. So like, but it was still like, you know, I hated reading. I never, dude, I, I think I read like one book when I was a kid. Maybe. Mm, me too. Like, I, like being real. People, no, me too, People bro. be lying, dude. They're like, I, I did not, oh, I, read I literally did not read books until I was like 20 something years old. Yeah. I was so uh, insecure about reading in class. I was so insecure about reading, period. I was like, really? yeah, if these books are not, I can, I just, I was so insecure about it that I just didn't do it. But then like. When you find a good book, bro, it's like a movie. You it get trapped weird. in that bitch. I'm telling you, man. We were talking about this on the set. I think the set's podcast. Oh yeah. I I uh, Hunger Games, bro. Yeah. I you got fucking it. swept on Hunger Games, and then I started reading all these type of like theme books like that, dude. I got. Dude, my dad tricked me. He, he gave Why? me, a, bro. He he tricked my ass. <laughs> dude he did he brought he bought me this book and it said uh and i was like it was like about this guy who loses his trust fund and all this stuff right yeah and like he spends it all his friends that like kind of put him in a position where he spends it and so like i read this book and i was like so in it because he becomes homeless it's like the whole thing i can't remember it's called like winter or something i don't know uh but i remember being like damn that book's hella good and my dad's like oh yeah that's like an updated version of the story of the prodigal son so oh, it's a fucking Bible story, but they yeah, just yeah. put it in like a, modern the times. Story. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like with like you know, you yeah, know, with cities we know of. Yes. And, stuff. and then I was like, damn, this motherfucker <laughs> got me, motherfucker. He got me. Yeah, that was. But just... it's cool. But I was like, and then that kind of it was like he kind of like trigger. Not to say whatever about religion. I'm not. I'm not too religious or anything. I would say I'm more agnostic. If yeah. Anything. But like, it definitely like made me think about it about bible stories and stuff like that a little bit more Bro, they're mythologies man and they're but they yeah, i was like damn i learned a lesson from yeah, that book. exactly and i was like damn and it made me like you know i don't i don't really go to church but like if i go back home i see him i'll go and like go to church with him and i'm like i'm kind of into it when they when the preacher does the thing because i'm yeah. like damn i could get a lesson out of this yeah, versus look, before i used to be like God isn't real. You think there's a man <laughs> in the sky? Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. an idiot. But that's what I'm saying. I like, so smart. There's lessons everywhere, man. Yeah. There's lessons happening all around you. There's lessons moving every time. Don't overeat. Your stomach hurts. That don't overeat. You learned a lesson. You drank too much yesterday. Will you make the same lesson next time? You yeah, know, or will I'm you do, fuck it up again. You know, will you do that next time? Until everything, you know, it's all cycles until you learn how to get up to the next cycle. All right, because they don't stop. There's all, You're always learning a Damn, man, there's always something to learn. Yeah. Here. Just adjusting. You just got to adjust to, like you're saying. Like yeah. With the drinking thing. It's like, what? you know what I mean? Yeah, for and, sure. And it's like you, you, what you learn from the podcast, you know? Yeah. You just adjust for the next one. Exactly. Yeah. It's like in anything. That, that's what I'm like learning to, because for a while I was like, damn, why is my life this way? Like, why am I in this position I don't want to be in? Yeah. And it's like, it's like Bro, I did all the steps to get to where I'm at right now. You like, got to put I a mirror in front did, of your bro. face, bro. Like, I did it all. Who's the common denominator? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's? <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> you know, it's just like, my life is this. It's shitty. Well, who's the common denominator, motherfucker? It's you. So something's going yeah. on with you. You can change your friends. You can change your freaking job. You can change your lifestyle. You can change anything. But that's the thing about teaching people how to take their power, man. You got to have your power. Books are just so important, man. It was books and then podcasts that just kind of like took me off to go what I wanted to do. And just really, yeah. I really just wanted to heal from my brother's death and all the shit that happened. And it was just like, books were just so powerful, man. And then I, I literally programmed, I was like, I was in it and I had a son at that age. And it was just like reading every night, every yeah. bro, like the wife was just like this kid. And now dude, he, he reads books faster than me, dude. Like he yeah. is so good, and my younger one is the same. Like he's not as much as the reading, but he can read really well. It's like they're I've, my biggest thing too with with kids. I feel like is math and science, math and re math and reading. Really, everything else you'll figure out. Yeah, if you're interested. The the I, the most I read like the fastest was when I uh, when I didn't have a phone. I didn't have a phone. I didn't have a car. And when, <laughs> and when I did that, I. Uh, Dude, I was like on the bus. I'd read a book in like two days. Mm. It was crazy. I've never, you know, I was never like that. Bro, I, I, and even today, I'm not like that. Stop watching TV and find out how much time you have. Bro, it's not even that. It's TikTok. No, not you. I'm just talking about here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or stop watching YouTube. Like, TikTok, bro. Your phone is a fucking addictive, man. Yeah, you got to turn that screen time on if you don't have you it You do. On. Because like you look at it, dog, you want to hear what my screen time was? Yeah. It's sick. It's fucking gross. Oh, like your fucking time, all like day. Per, per day, yeah, like it, where it? it was at, like two, like two weeks hours. ago. 
Bro, it was like 11 hours and 52 minutes. Damn. I mean, I'm on the phone a lot. I yeah, do yeah, a lot yeah. of FaceTiming. Yeah, yeah. While I'm doing all this stuff. But still, like, that's... F- Dude, I'm only up for, what, 16 hours? Yeah. Mine Eight. has gone up more. <laughs> that's great. Mine Bro, has, that's nuts. I, my average was like three to four. I'm going to look at it right now. Yeah. But um, it has gone up since I started this freaking... Oops. Since I started trading. Being in the stock market, because I'd be like, "What's bro? My screen like, time? What's going on right now? <laughs> my screen and time today? Look at that! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> it doesn't even make sense, bro. It doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. Yeah, but you know I'll, what I do too? I have a bedtime. I have it set on bedtime. It says fourteen hours and forty-one minutes. By the way, uh, go ahead. Sorry, I put bedtime on my phone. Do you? So like, it, it automatically says like I'm go. I go to bed at around nine thirty. So it, right, well, I try to go to bed at nine thirty. So it sends me a, a reminder like eight thirty. It's like, oh, cool. Get ready, you you know, it's almost time to go to sleep. Yeah. So then I try to use that to like turn off the lights, the blue lights and stuff, and then it does. And then my alarm's already set for for fucking six fifteen in the morning. So yeah, you got to program your body, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Like when when I started to notice, obviously that today is. But honestly, I was I've been kind of hungover today, and so I just yeah, been, so chilling. I'm just like. Way I night. can't move. Be super lazy. But. See, but then that's that's funny because one thing leads to another. You mess oh, up dude, here, hung over, yeah. then you go into the other things. But I will say, yesterday I like deep cleaned my room. Not nice. deep clean, but deep clean for me. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> deep clean for me. Hey, you uh, deep clean then. But I I went like obviously I went to that open mic and then I came home and dude I yeah, forgot. he's doing open mic if you didn't know watch yeah. out bro <laughs> comedian coming dude, up here. so I I like came home and I forgot I cleaned my room and dog my bed was made and it was just like so it was so nice how good it feel man oh my god I was I I didn't even touch my wiener yet and I came already amazing sorry, good sorry. for you man <laughs> you're dropping the balls right here here you go hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. This would be embarrassing if my face was out here. Why? No, just just kidding, that, was, that was a good joke right there, bro. No, man, but there's like, we uh, started reading this book. The lady read the book that I, think, I forgot, the tidying up some shit, babe, pretty much. Oh, the, is that the Asian group? Yeah. She got a Netflix thing, right? Yes. Okay, wait. Start talking about that. I'm going to double check this. Okay, the here. art of tidying up or something. The something of tidying up. Yeah, she has a Netflix show. And we read that book and I literally, that's how I fold my shirts now. <laughs> So we went through everything and you got to go like, does this mean anything? All the shit in your house. Like, dude, like I figured out, like, why do I hold shit for so long if I'm not fucking using it? Oh, yeah, it's bad. I'm really good at though, though. Like my wife, my, you know, I'm fucking. I'm like, if I if I, if I look at that shit, I knew my garage really well. Right. You know what it is? Because I, I know people that like that hoard bad. And so, like, there's it, something that's a different there, thing. bro. Yeah, that, that's a, like a whole different thing. I don't think you're like that. Hell I would no. Not assume you're, yeah. I throw that shit, bro. I'm the, I'm the opposite, motherfucker. Oh, I'm I like, try, I, I do. don't use this bitch. You know what? It, <laughs> gone. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'll buy it again. My wife's like, you might need that again. Fuck it. I'll buy it then. Yeah. Like, I don't like I do that, that shit. with clothes. I got rid of a hey, lot of Hey, I want my, my kombucha clothes. back. There, <laughs> <laughs> I did that with a lot of my clothes. That uh, do it. I do it. My clothes. Well, too. Like I, I got rid of a lot of clothes. Like because I, bro, I don't know if you've been in my bedroom really, but like, no, I don't have, bro. I don't have a dresser, and I don't have like my closet doesn't have like a thing. Why don't you put one? Like I just never, I really had a dresser. Oh, you only had a dresser. Like I don't have a dresser. So I, dude, I so literally what? like fuck. <laughs> yeah, I have like in the corner of my room, I have like a piece of wood, and I could only fit like that's why I have like big sweaters. Like snowboard jacket, oh. and then and then like a minimalistic lifestyle, huh? I'm, I mean, dude, it's like it's so literally like I have one pair of jeans. Good for you, man. It's I'm not you. trying to. I, I, I don't it's know. Vegas, bro. Like I'm like you know even yeah, today. But I wear jeans funny. a lot. Dude, I never wear. Shorts. You know, it's funny today. I was like on the podcast and we coming over here. I was like, man, like it's hot. I'm gonna wear shorts. I know. I feel like I always gotta dress up when I come here or some yeah, shit. Like yeah. dress some jeans, put Me some nice you, shoes bro. on or something. I'm like, uh, I'll be barefoot. I like flip flops. Yeah, <laughs> I like being barefoot. I like wearing some comfy shit. It's like I'm nowhere, dude. I'm I like I don't know. I wear I never wear socks. I hate. I mean, I do. But I, don't I, really, wear, I would I, rather not. Yeah, I wear my Vans. I don't wear socks. Oh uh, yeah, sometimes I do that, but not anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. That happened one time at open mic. The guy, the Your guy sock fell off. No, shoes no. fell off. And like, the comedian in front of me was like, he's like, "What's up with white people?" They, 
they never had like they're never wearing socks and they're never wearing underwear what the fuck's up with that bro i came on i was like yo <laughs> he's talking about me right now i was like I, I was like dog i'm literally not wearing underwear and i'm not wearing <laughs> socks right now it was crazy he's talking about me right now it was nuts I, that's I, funny I, yeah it was crazy hell yeah how's that going for you man it's, it's what you been right. learning there uh it's all right man i'm I'm still like very early on with the, with the whole thing uh but yeah but like what have you been learning like what type of shit have you been like it's uh what, what what's the, been the process for you it's it's cool i just like that like we I haven't said, even talked about that yeah like i said it's like the drink like outside oh, of the yeah. podcast like outside of the podcast off like air, even yeah. off air the drink like i just like honestly it just bums me out because i get tired i get tired from because i'm i normally go to bed like 10 11 bro yeah, that's like the honestly that um, right now I, I'm trying to just adjust to that, and just because I get a little bit like stage fright, nervous a little, um, so I I'll be like drinking, you know, when uh, when I'm going up and like, yeah, just just tired from that. But like besides that, man, I'm I'm just getting more like confident with myself on stage and whatnot, okay. um, and just like figuring out what works for me. Yeah, you know, but. Besides, I don't know. It's just a mixing it's good. game. It's, like, it's, it's cool. Like, it's it's different for sure. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy it. It's uh, It gives me, like, adrenaline rush for Hell sure. Hell yeah, I'm sure. Like, if you never fucking experience it, it's yeah. pretty nuts. Like, you sometimes you come home and you're like, dude, I can't sleep. Like, I come home <laughs> at, like, 12 o'clock and I'm like, uh, and I go to the bar by my house. Yeah. It's just like, I can't. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Dude. Oh, the camera? No. Perfect. But yeah, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm still being very like, uh, not top secret about it. I, I just don't like. No, yeah, just wait till you go yet. right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he doesn't tell. Us I don't where like. He goes. I, I just, just don't like to go. make it like a big deal because it's just like, I, it's like, it's almost like I don't want people to be able to hold me accountable later. Now that I'm thinking about it. Well, now it's gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Like, now yeah, it's gonna right. be that. So hey, we're here. He's working on being a comedian, man. He's fucking. Why not do whatever? If you if you enjoy it, fuck it. Like I, you know, yeah. Just do more what you enjoy. And that's what I'm. That I'm like. My, it's the same, I'm go, approaching the open mic the same way. I told you how we should approach this at the beginning, right? It's like I'm approaching it like I. I don't know if this is 100 percent what I want to do, like doing yeah, exactly yeah, stand up. Yeah, but yeah. I was like, I do like enjoy comedy and like. I don't know. People told me I've been oh, I know growing up. Then, yeah. So it's like, I'm just kind of, I'm just going, then I said the same thing about the yeah, podcast. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. I don't know exactly what this podcast can turn into or whatever, but like, you know, just let's just make shit. And then it's something we want to do. Yeah. And then so, we'll see what it turns into. So, yeah. So that's, that's kind of how I'm like approaching it. I'm meeting a lot of people, man. Like that's like the coolest part about it, to be honest, mm. is just meeting like hella cool people. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. But they're, yeah. that's dope that's what we're both doing here then too that's what like it gives me a reason yeah you know that's why i met this dude and we're gonna go probably go to his like little event that he has and just meet people it's like he's it's just co- nah well that too yeah we're oh, going yeah. to sausage video with that next weekend okay, um but yeah. this other dude that i met this my, one of my homegirls hooked me up with and it's just like you just go meet people and talk man you know like right even it's like hey yeah i got a podcast what, what do you do i work here i do this and i have a podcast so what is it blah, blah, blah. And it's just like whatever right this, we'll see what comes man what do you tell people when they ask you what your podcast is about i just you know it's because that's a good I, question people, that's a good that's question the thing is like people have asked me they're like what is ronnie's podcast about and it's not that i have a trouble understanding i'm like I, like but sometimes i'm like i don't know you just gotta check it out <laughs> yeah yeah you no, know honestly i'm, I'm kind of I like always get from you it's funny because i always kind of get like self-conscious at first when they ask me that mm-hmm. i'm like uh and then I'm like, okay, but this is the practice. I don't really say that, but I kind of know, like, speak your truth right now. Say what it really is. Yeah. It's like, you are the decisive element in your life. Yeah. So I talk to other people about how are they choosing to make their life the way they want to make it because they realize that they are the common denominator factor. So they need to fix their shit in order for their life to change. Yeah. And we have fun and joy and talk shit and fucking eat gummy bears and fucking fruit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I like being I like being over here. I'm gonna have to do this again. Yeah, fuck yeah. I was like, we're gonna have to do this again. Yeah, yeah, bro, it's cool, man. Is it like it's, it's not even like it's not even a big deal. Nah, I'm pretty fucking tight though. Yeah, oh, because you even on the <laughs> other podcast, you were still sit over there and get recorded right there, huh? 
Yeah, I would have a camera facing me. Yeah, though. but you wouldn't sit here like no. where the main. Like I've done it like two or three times. But, oh, okay, okay, but okay. I mean, with the, that podcast, we've you know we did it for three seasons and we made like sixty episodes each one, probably. Yeah, you know, more or less each. Yeah, year, year to year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the second year we we. Didn't That's do so this dope. Well. I hope we're here. I want to. I want to be here like three years later, wherever the fuck we're at, and be like, yeah, we've been doing this for like. Yeah, for we're a while. Get, we're, that's another thing. Well, I guess we could talk about that off air, but we're gonna have to figure out like scheduling and everything with guests and stuff because they, they, he's gonna. We're gonna. Start oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because football season's coming back. The, the draft is like in two weeks. Yeah, well, I guess it'll just be like specific days, whatever yeah. days. But that just goes with the like communication. We just like with with everything like going. Oh yeah, into like learn what we've learned. And the stuff. Communication like, is key, dude. Yeah. But I think it'll be good to have like me be like the bridge between all of it, you know, whatever. This is all like side. This doesn't. <laughs> Bro, who cares? Be. This is yeah, us. Whatever. This was his journey. He's learning how to build a network. You talked about it, maybe wanting a little network, and this is kind of what. Yeah. This is a beginning of a network, you know, bro. Acknowledge like, what it is, bro. I just like I, I don't know. I know the tools that people need. We gotta push Mike up. Mike, you're a badass. Mike, yeah. Mike, you're a badass. You're getting the shit done, bro. Dude, that's that's a hard thing too. Is taking compliments and like truly accepting them. Yeah. It's fucking I'm hard. So man. glad you said that. Because like I I didn't realize I did this, but someone told me they're like every time I give you a compliment, you like you kind of like self deprecate. You like, and I, I'm like, so what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, just say thank you. Accept it. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, oh, thing? I was like, so I, that's what I realized. I'm I'm not even accepting this compliment. I'm telling oh, that like bro. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm pushing it and being like, no, that's not true. Yes. Isn't that crazy? I, I had no idea that's that so I was funny. doing that. We're learning that right now because I felt like I just had an experience yesterday that was really. How many times do we not like a compliment? Like how many times do we not receive love or some type of praise because we are the ones stopping it? Yeah. Or we are the one we don't even know. Like, are you open? If How do you know what love or friendship or anything looks like if you're not even open to it, open to receiving it? Yeah. I have mommy issues. Maybe that's why. Yeah, we all have. And I think that's the whole thing. It's protective <laughs> mechanisms. That's what it is. But, like, you say your partner doesn't love you. Well, are you even know? Do you even know how that person loves you? Do you even know how it feels to, like, really feel that love? Because I was like, man, how – how many times in my life do like people tell me shit and I do the same shit like now nah, like it right so I'm limiting myself by not like you know what I'm saying like I don't know man I'm still figuring out how to say this perfectly but it's just kind of like you need to be if you you're probably receiving love from somebody in your life even yeah. if it's just friend or someone at co work like you're just hey what's up man appreciate you doing awesome but do you really take that compliment and let it resonate in your body and, that, and that's what i realized because i i thought at such first, a good point bro so like at first when Glad i you brought realized that, up. that yeah i thought oh like oh that's just the in that's not polite right i thought like that's not very polite for me to accept it to not accept the the compliment oh okay. but then i realized it's for me it's not just for like that person but for me uh, like I said, like it, yeah, I'm not even t- I'm not even taking in the compliment. It's like basically yeah, what you yeah. just said is like you're not even allowing it to like enter your body. Like you're not you allowing like yourself it. to feel good. Yeah, it's weird. And then I feel like on the other side, it's just like, well, if people if you consistently do that, then why am I going to compliment you? Because you're like rejecting me, right? And, and I'm trying to mad. yeah, and I'm trying to like show you love, bro. You're a badass. Like yeah. you're a badass, bro. This podcast, you hear this shit right here, this thing would not Thanks. be existence if it wasn't for you, bro. Thank you. You're welcome. See? There yeah. we go. Just like that. <laughs> little bit of self and that's, how, and and that's, that's how you accept the compliment. And the, <laughs> great job. The decisive moment podcast. Great job. Hey, 101, <laughs> say thank you. And that's what the podcast is about, bro. <laughs> that's what the podcast is about. Fucking Ronnie talking shit to people and telling them to love themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Really just for Ronnie can love himself. Just you? Yeah. I can't? No, I'm saying like you can. But what I'm saying <laughs> is like I'm doing this. Is this, is, this is a way of giving me something that I like to do, right? Yeah. Cause so I'm loving myself by showing up consistently and doing this because I enjoy when I sit in this goddamn seat and all of a sudden I got the headphones on my oh this it does feel good. This sounds man. good. I remember when you kept saying like you don't have to wear the headphones and then we were like put them on. I was like, wait. 
Yeah. Dial, Come in. Dial, dials you in. This is so good. Yeah, I'm like, here. And I'm like, I love being in this place. So I feel good when I'm here. Yeah. I wrote a little rap. I don't know if you saw my rap, right? I made a little uh, joke. When I, I did, it was just a joke about I think I did. the podcast. He was like, I'm just being a reflection. Refl- I say reflection is key to be did me. Did you write it down? Yeah, on you the had Instagram. It down. Yeah. That's right. Okay, yeah. I on the Instagram. That. And it's just pretty much like I'm trying to be what I want other people to to be. Right? Because we like once again, environment is so important. If I do what I really like to do, it invites other people to do what they really like to do. Yeah. Because they'll see how happy and joyful I am or you are. And everybody, it's not just me, but everyone who's really doing the shit they want typically are happy and playful and right. accepting and loving and they're just fucking flowing with life. And the people who are not doing what they fucking want. Are, it's, are just like this and talking. Yeah, you know, they're just fucking like, yeah, whatever. Meh, meh. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Uh, you notice it. I just want. I just like creating stuff, man. That's like that's what I'm realizing I don't know too. Exactly. I don't know exactly what it is. 100 percent like end goal, but I just like making shit. I like the process of it. Yeah. As as much as I've e- I edit, I fucking hate editing though. I'm that's sure. like one thing. Do you edit a lot? Like this? Does this take a lot of editing? No, not too bad. Uh, no. Not it's mostly just like the entry and the exit. Yeah, there, there's like some that there was one where it took me a while. A Saucy's episode took me a minute. Oh yeah, but that was because you because I added all, all the bit things. The intro yeah, yeah. I added a little bit of extra in there, so that took me a while because like I'm not the best with like Photoshop and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Like I'm okay, but like you know, I've, it's all like self taught. So it's like that, dude. Editing's weird, man, because like. I'll, I'll be good with certain things and I'm like sprinting through the program. Like yeah. this cut, cut, yeah, this, yeah. you know, fucking sync this up, line this yeah. up, link this, you know, all that. And then <laughs> there'll be like an effect that I'm trying to do and I've mm. never done it before. So I go from this full on sprint to holy shit. I'm like slow walking, you know? Yeah. Where I'm trying to do that like crosswalk walk, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where they, like the counter starts going down. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like doing that fucking weird walk run. <laughs> I hate that. What walk run? It's a, there's a movie where like over overweight kids go, <laughs> and they do that camp. It was like in the nineties, and they did oh, a speed uh, walk. Oh, 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 like oh. a speed walk. I always remember that from oh that my video. God. Uh, th- this one Ben Stiller's like the 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 camp. Yes, camp. yes. Um, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, this is gonna bug me, dude. Damn, that's. Uh, I don't remember what it was called. Heavyweights. Heavyweights. Yeah. Good job. Oh, my God, dude. I pulled that. Yeah. F- dude, that was yeah. in my C2 to my T2, bro. <laughs> That's James Lada, dog. He knows all about it. <laughs> I pulled that one yeah, way back that there. Yeah, back. Dude, hell yeah. But yeah, heavyweights. I was, I, when I, anytime I think of that walk, bro, I, I just remember they movie, had like bro. the bunk beds and they, they had the slim gyms in the fucking yes. like, hall. Yep, yep. What like a bunch of sickos, dude. Sickos. Oh, oh yeah. Just shit. Why you gotta eat? Oh, yeah. But every time I think of that walk, I think of that movie. Yeah. Whatever, man. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, they were just racing. We can do it. It's funny, man. But yeah, man. That movie's nuts. They like, t- they, bro, they were like tasing Ben Still. Or they had him like, I don't know. That movie. I don't nuts. remember. I haven't watched it in a long time. Yeah, that's a good movie. Though. It was a good movie. <laughs> bro. <laughs> that's funny. See how we just, yeah. That was good, though. Got heavy, it's it's because you're you fucking walking. Bro, you know what's but, fun, funny though is the uh, I didn't think we would be able to do. I was like, oh, what are we gonna talk about for an hour? It's we're like, like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, this is getting easier and easier. I was I'm, I'm on the, the, this class with this um, dude from Sacred Sons. He has a podcast with them, and he's like, bro, like around ten or eleven episode, you just kind of get it. Like, mm-hmm. is, he's like, just keep going. And I, yeah, oh, you know what it, I really learned from that weekend too is just like, hey, like when you're uncomfortable, what you need to do to become comfortable. Is you need uncomfortability needs effort, constant effort, and then you need to put in the reps. Yeah, yeah, that's reps. what I'm realizing with the open mic. Yeah, dude. effort reps make brings confidence and, and and fucking comfortability. It's like we're this is a new thing for us, like, so we get uncomfortable sometimes. So I'll give you an example because like you know I play soccer like indoor soccer like football once a week football. Bro, I just found out the Gold Cup is gonna fucking be here or not? The, I forgot what it was. The specific one. Anyways, there's going to be a soccer tournament. Costa Rica is going to be here, bro, oh, really? at Raider Stadium. Oh, sick. Yeah. When so, is that? I think it's in August. Okay. It'll Let's... probably be open by then. Bro, COVID is over. Bro, COVID is uh, COVID uh, over. My, my family fucking said that the governor spoke in Nevada that uh, 100% by June 1st. Oh, yeah. COVID's over, bro. Yeah, fuck COVID. <laughs> fuck these pieces. That's what I call my buddy. He's so funny, dude. He's like, COVID is over. Yeah, yeah. 
I just want to be like Texas. There's gonna be this weird moment though, where like there, some people are wearing masks, no, and gonna, some I, people are not. I don't think you know what I mean. They're gonna I, lift the mask mandate, and then there's gonna be yeah. always the, those guys. And it's gonna, gonna be like China, bro. Like some people just wear a mask. I think that's never going away, to be quite honest. Yeah. People are just some people are just gonna my wear friend, a mask. My and friend like, used to wear masks. I hate wearing masks now. I take that shit off. Oh yeah. Anytime I want to. <laughs> Yeah, even though you feel weird and storm like, oh, bro, it's okay. funny yeah. when I go to these open mics. It's just these these, bro, they are just like they're at the shittiest bars, and so th- they just are so, they just do not pay attention to it at all. No, like it's just like it's so, I don't know. It's crazy. Like it, nobody's really wearing. They're wearing their masks, but kind of. And it's, 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 it's just the little like, fucking pad on the neck. Yeah, you, know, see, you see the it's like a chin pad. Yes, yeah, yeah. chin pad. Uh, so I never watched. I didn't watch the full episode, but South Park, they had this whole thing about you're not wearing your mask right. You know, fucking oh, really? chin pad or some shit. You never watched it. a full episode of South Park. No, no, but that one specific one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I watched oh, plenty. Oh. I and like, I was in Afghanistan, bro. Like I watched. Like, oh, I bet so that many. was that was so awesome. I watched that. I watched. I don't even fucking know. I was like, I, I watched that one. I was about to say some other ones. Prison Break. I remember I got obsessed with that one. Bro, like, it's 2021. I went to Afghanistan fucking 11 years ago, bro. That's or I wild. came back 11 years ago. It's crazy. Bro, I, I went know. to Afghanistan when I was 21 and Damn. 22. That's fucking crazy. Well, it's, it's another life. For me, it's like, if I don't know. We're about to, this is about to be my uh, 10 year reunion this year. Oh, is it? For high school, but like, I feel older than that though, kind of. So, <laughs> yeah. we gotta stay young. It feels, I don't know. Hey, play, man. We gotta play. We gotta keep playing. Oh, wait, I want this I was podcast about, to not always be so oh, fucking was, serious, too, wait, man. I was talking about the soccer, though. Oh, yeah, soccer. Yeah, yeah, we get, we totally got, we did. Uh, but did you guys sign up for another league? Is that what you're talking about? No, no, no. Oh. Uh, and I was gonna relate it to something we were talking about. Fuck. Mustache Mike, what were we talking about? Yeah, we were talking oh, about wait, dude. shit. That's me. That's me. <laughs> No, we were talking about how the gold cup or some no, type of cup. No, is I was talking about. Then... I was gonna. I like. Oh, with with the reps or whatever. It's oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so with with soccer though, like it's I've played. For, I played like from when I was five till I was like in my early twenties, and then I, I fell off for like five years. But when I go to play soccer, dude, I don't even like think about it. I just yeah, because so I have so many reps, dude. Yeah, and like I'm like, damn, I don't even have like this crazy Serbian coach yelling at me. Like this is gonna be easy. Yeah, you know. That would make me nervous when I was younger, but, but like, yeah, dude. <laughs> Serbian coach, man. Oh, yeah. He would fucking always be yelling at me. Michael, you fucking Pichka. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Bro, hell yeah. Pichka means bitch in Serbian. Oh, is it? That's oh, yeah. funny. But, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, but, but yeah, like, the, uh, uh, but now, like, when I go play soccer, I don't even think about it. And I'm like, damn, that's what I want open mics to feel like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want, I, I want to be able to like, go up and, like, it feels like I'm not even thinking about it. Give me more. Because, bro, when I go do open mics, oh, my God, I fucking, I'm, like, stressed out all day. Keep it coming. I'm, like, stressed out all day. Tell it me more. It gives me, like, anxiety. Yes. Because it's, like, it's so unfamiliar to me. I know. That's what I feel like I'm kind of doing with this thing and the yeah. day trade or and the swing trading that I'm doing. It's just, like, I just got to keep doing well, you're it. You're right, though. It, this will become, like, I think you're doing really well with it, too. But like, uh, it will become like butter, bro. It's gonna be like, when I do the fantasy podcast, like the for bro, you should listen. I should show you the first episode we did. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, it's, it's rough. But Looking I mean, back. it's you know, it's nobody has a reason to look at it. It's you know, teams are all different now. And all yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. So but the information is very outdated. But, um, but yeah, man, compared to how we are now, and like we have everything, like these templates Flowing. are perfect, mm-hmm. and you know, not perfect, but yeah, but it's in flow. comparison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like in comparison, in comparison, yeah, I know, I don't know what you got all accent on. I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I, I you met from up, Boston? I met up with my nah, buddy. Comparison, what that be? Where is <laughs> that from? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I talk weird. Whatever. My buddy said that I, was, I saw him in San Diego, and he was, he was like, I don't know when it happened, but you like got an accent sometime. But yeah, I you just live life on the edge, man. You're, you're a character, bro. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. But we don't have to k- keep going. We can uh, wrap this daddy up. Huh? I got to piss. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have to pee, too. I'm like, I, I keep moving and shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, but I've hey. been trying to drink uh, water. I mean, it's been a pleasure, man. I really appreciate you yeah, doing this. Should we thing do it like me? a cool handshake on here? We just like a like a good old hey, good, good old sir. Good job, man. Yeah, I feel like you do this handshake enough, you grow a sweet mustache. That's what That's what you got. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep bringing it in, man. Hey, go eat some fruit, people. Yeah, fruit's good. Fruit's good.
And if your dog's like, damn, I want some fruit, he's fucking lying. Because he didn't want the shit. Yeah, he doesn't want it. Even though he just wants some food around there. But listen, you are the decisive element. That's right. <laughs> Subscribe on Apple Podcasts. At, at the, at Spotify. The download, Spotify, wherever you listen YouTube, to. YouTube. And fucking give us a rating if you're on Spotify and Apple. Yeah. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe, like, share the shit. We appreciate you guys. Definitely. We're just keep moving. We're going to figure it out little by little. And maybe we'll, I mean, I'm sure we'll do another one of these. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Whenever I feel called to do it, I felt yeah. like this was a moment. I really, I felt I was like, I don't really want to guess for number 10. It's just fucking like talk about. It's yeah. A, it's cool. like, you know, let's recap. We, we learned a lot. We we're still learning, you know, have people come chill, you know, have fucking some fruit to hang out. Like just, this is, this is our time and chilling. And this is my time to hang out and do our shit. So keep doing what you're doing. Hope you guys enjoy and let us know anything you guys want to see or whatnot. If if this video gets uh, a thousand likes, then we'll actually show my face. Okay. All That's right. a good one. All right. Fucking how bad do you want it, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to see that dirty stash? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. All right. Uh, Peace I get, out. I get lazy. Thank they, you. They, they and then you're going to shave it. You shave it the day before you get a thousand likes. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah okay. see this is what i like because we can fucking yeah. whatever this is our shit our <laughs> shit go create your shit and let us experience oh i went to area 15 bro oh, okay we want to talk about that really area quick. 15 is fire if you live in vegas or you come to vegas go to area 15 Torny. that place is dope man really yeah area 15 is like an it artist sucks before they open that grocery store thingy it's like an artist thing which one do you mean did they did they have that grocery store thing? Yeah, they, I didn't go in there though. I didn't do that one. Oh really? There's like you have to go to. There's like different ones that you can go into, and each one costs some different money. Money. Hmm. We were just in there chilling. Did a couple of ones for my friend's birthday. But go check it out. Very fucking psychedelic. It's kind of like a a festival that's always there, but like very artistic. Very. It's trippy. There. It, it. Look it up. It's dope. Take your kids during the day. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't like it that much. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. Bro, this this podcast is sponsored by Area 15. <laughs> Imagine Ronnie yeah. just drops. Hell no! Nah, but uh, I'm just saying because I like I like that no, type of no, shit, man. No, you're, you're yeah, kidding. yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. I like that type of shit. But yeah, all right. Take care now. Bye, bye. Then See later. Ya.